And that's the problem with these guys. They have placed themselves in, a, in an elitist attitude to tell the rest of us what we need. And the truth is, we don't need them to do that. Okay? They haven't got the right to do that. They think they do, because they think we're just a bunch of stupid cattle. And I got to tell you, for the most part, most people prove them right all the time. Not intentionally, but because the knowledge, the truth has been withheld from the people. And that's how they manipulate people, is by withholding the truth and controlling them with the lies. Okay? Now, first I got to start off here. I got to ask you a question. What's the most important thing about this country that you can think of? And I want to see some hands and hear some answers. Everybody all at once. Freedom. Freedom. Freedom is the most important thing in the world because socialism doesn't give you freedom. They want you to think it does. Aren't they trying to bombard you with the delusion that liberals are for freedom? Liberals are for socialism. Liberals started out being for freedom when there wasn't any. Being for freedom was liberal. Being conservative was for the power of the king. Remember? All of our founding fathers were liberals. Believe it. They were also traitors. So when somebody calls me a, a traitor because uh, I'm supposedly against the government, it doesn't bother me. I'm in damn good company. Is this a democratic country? No. no. Was it ever meant to be? Never. No. Never. So why do we hear all this talk about democracy all the time? It's the agenda to brainwash the American populace into accepting democracy, which is what? The first step into socialism. Why? No, because in our human failings and in our temptations, if it's one man, one vote, the majority is going to vote themselves everything, right? And if you vote yourself everything, what is that? The state owes me a job. We're going to vote that the state has to give us all a job. We're going to vote that the state is responsible for making sure that I have X number of dollars a year, so we're going to vote that there's going to be a minimum income for everybody in the country. That's socialism. Lenin, V.I. Lenin, you all know who he is? The man who founded the Soviet Union? V.I. Lenin said, democracy is indispensable to socialism. You can take a free people, make them into a democracy from whatever they were before, and they will vote themselves into slavery every single time because they are weak. They want the benefits. They want the check from the government. They want the job from the government. They want a car from the government. They want medical care from the government. They want everything from the government. What's the fallacy in that? The government doesn't have anything to give you unless they first take it away from you. Right? Now, for somebody who works and is productive, they don't like that. That's not good, is it? Somebody, however, who is a weak victim, that's great, isn't it? Because they don't have to do anything anymore, do they? They can just sit back and be provided for. Have you noticed all across the country right now, they are creating victim classes of people? Why do you think that is? Because victims need care. Once you create a victim that needs care, you have another vote for socialism, don't you? Mm 